played a great defense the whole day long. Special teams right from the beginning. We busted our We worked harder than anybody to get here. Nobody can beat us in a team, and it's worth 70,000 and a big ring. Cephalo to the near side. Woodley up under quarterback, makes the pass. Coming to the near side, he's got Cephalo wide open. Big gainer, he's got a man beat to the 40, to the 30. He could be gone. It's a horse race, it's a Miami touchdown. 76-yard touchdown pass thrown by David Woodley, and they did something weird there that caught the defense with their pants down. 24-year-old David Woodley was the youngest quarterback ever to start a Super Bowl. But he began like a seasoned veteran. His pass to Jimmy Cephalo was the second longest scoring play in Super Bowl history. And the Miami Dolphins gained a 7-0 lead over the Washington Redskins early in the first period. Stay tuned. Film session returns after these messages. Angered by the Dolphins' easy touchdown, the Redskins' hard-charging defensive line helped recover what their secondary had given away. A jarring tackle by Dexter Manley caused Woodley to fumble, and Dave Butts recovered for Washington at the Miami 46. After the Redskins' defensive line caused the first turnover of Super Bowl 17. Their offensive line, nicknamed the Hogs by line coach Joe Bugle, began to control the tempo of the game with a play called 50 Gut. 40 and 50 Gut is John Riggins running off tackle. Running off tackle where he gets the football, he glides to the offensive tackle, and he makes his breaks from there. This is really our bread and butter. And we were having some success running to our left side, their right side, because we felt we had the great matchups. We feel, as far as physical football, we felt Bo Camper was a 250-pounder. He's a great pass rusher. But Joe Jacoby going into the Super Bowl weighed 300 pounds. So we felt in order to beat Miami, we would have to win this matchup. And Joe Jacoby was going to have to hammer and pond Kim Bo Camper. Joe Jacoby and Russ Grimm, the two hogs that time with the big blocks. Oh, John Riggins, the diesel getting warm. Drag up that diesel. Um, um, um. Let's go diesel. Um. Along with the guts came the first hint of glory as Big John Riggins chugged into field goal range. field goal made the score seven to three but this scoring drive was just a prelude to the more intricate web of strategy to be woven in the second quarter going into the Miami game the guy that created the most problems was AJ Dewey throughout the whole season in the two uh, playoff games that we saw prior going to the Super Bowl he had a lot of sacks because he lined up in various positions. He lined up as an inside linebacker, as a defensive tackle, and as an outside linebacker. This is where he was most effective, rushing from the outside. So one of the prime things that we felt we had to do as an offense is try to get in formations that would stabilize him and force him to be an inside linebacker all the time. For us to win the Super Bowl, we had to come up with the type of formations that would stabilize their defense, where they could not afford to move A.J. Dewey. That was the key. 
By constantly shifting their offensive formations, Washington kept A.J. Dewey off balance, forcing him to remain an inside linebacker, where he was further confused by the Redskins' play selection. Washington ran reverses, flea flickers, and counterplays, leading Dewey on a furious but often futile chase. With Dewey neutralized, Miami's killer bees had lost their state. Late in the second period, after a Miami field goal had made the score 10 to 3, Washington drove 80 yards through the befuddled bees to a touchdown. Joe Theismann personally accounted for 62 of those yards, expertly mixing his passes and scrambles with a dependable 50 gut. Near left slot, 50 gut on red. Ready? Oh, oh. I'll bet you, I don't think they've worked against a lot of movement. I just don't believe they could have, because every time you move, they're really not sure what's going on back there. At the four-yard line, all five receivers went in motion, causing split-second confusion in the Dolphins' secondary. Lob into the end zone. Garrett's there. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. He got it. Redskins are going to tie this football game. Well, the killer bees, killer bees have been stung. There they are. In 1982, Bill Arnsparger's defense was the best in the NFL. But in Super Bowl 17, they looked just plain ordinary against Joe Gibbs' cleverly designed offense. One minute, 51 seconds left to go in the first half of Super Bowl 17, and our score is Miami 10, Washington 10. Here's Hayes' kickoff. Waiting back deep, Fulton Walker. He's got it at the 2, out to the 5, to the 10. Comes to the near side, to the 20. He's out to the 25, turns it back. He's gone. 50-yard line, 40-yard line. He's gone. It's a touchdown. A 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown for the Miami Dolphins. And as soon as the Redskins tie it, the Dolphins come back on top. Well, when it looked like the Redskins would go, go into the dressing room, tied up at halftime, coming from behind, to have this happen to you in the last two minutes is devastating, to yeah, say the least. Fulton Walker's 98-yard kickoff return was the longest return in Super Bowl history. A crunching block by Steve Shaw eliminated the last red skin in Walker's path. Following Walker's touchdown, the Redskins immediately threatened the Dolphins' sudden seven-point lead. But when Theismann threw a complete pass inbounds rather than a clock-stopping incompletion that would have left time for a short Mosley field goal try, time ran out on Washington with Miami holding a 17-10 halftime advantage. In the third quarter, Washington's misdirection plays continued to keep Miami off balance. A flanker reverse to Alvin Garrett gained 44 yards and set up Mark Mosley's second field goal, which cut Miami's lead to four points. It quickly became apparent that Don Shula planned to protect his slim lead with a ground attack that would eat up both yards and minutes. But when Andra Franklin was stopped, the Dolphins' offense could no longer generate any continuity or sustained life. In fact, the only pass David Woodley completed in the second half 
was to redskin safety Mark Murphy number 29. While Miami's offense was dead, its defense, like Edgar Allan Poe's telltale heart, was still beating, keeping the Dolphins' hopes for victory alive. Killer bees swarm Theismann and intercepted him twice. The Dolphins' defense not only protected the lead, they nearly increased it. Late in the third period, with the ball on the Redskin 18-yard line, Kim Bocamper deflected Theismann's pass and, for a split second, had Don Shula's third world championship in his hands. Oh, Lord! Was that almost the game-breaker? Very, very close. close. A touchdown. And number 58, Kim Bocamper, came very, very close to an interception for a touchdown. Joe Theismann with a heads-up play. My goodness. He might be able to play pass defense. Theismann's alert play prevented a sure touchdown that could have crushed Washington. If he had not knocked the ball out of Bocamper's hands, Miami would have led 24-13 to going into the fourth quarter. Needing two touchdowns to win, Washington would have had to abandon their time-consuming running game, and Riggins would no longer have been a factor. Theismann had saved the game. Now Riggins and the Hogs would win it. Super Bowl sky with a game plan straight out of pro football's distant past. We went to plan B. Plan B was that we were going to not fool around with any more misdirection. We were going to run directly at them. So Coach Gibbs told the team right then and there, we're going to go back out. We're going to establish a line of scrimmage. We're not going to get impatient. We're going to win the football game by running it. Somewhere, Vince Lombardi must have smiled his approval of Joe Gibbs' decision. Washington's quest for the world championship of pro football turned the sport away from its pass-happy present and back to its roots. Riggins the ball carrier. Riggins the ball carrier. Gains nine yards. John Riggins the ball carrier. With ten minutes to play, the Redskins reach the Dolphin 42. It was fourth and one. The focus of the entire game narrowed to this one critical decision. Let's go. Goal line, goal line. I left tight wing, 70 chip on white. Ready? Here comes the diesel. Here comes the diesel. Should come with John Riggins right up the middle. Right up over the middle. Shot! Yellow 41! Yellow 41! Hunt, hunt! There's the snap, and the Riggins. Good hole. He's got the first down to the 40. He's gone. The 35, the 30, the 40. He's gone. He's gone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Woo-hoo. A 43 yard touchdown run to scrimmage is the longest in Super Bowl history. The play, 70 chip, and the name John Riggins 
will be forever linked with the most dramatic touchdown run in Super Bowl history. 70 chip, we run it various ways, and the way we scored in the Super Bowl is Clinton Didier was our wing back. We started him in motion across the formation, faked him and brought him back. Now, Clint Didier is responsible for the end man on the line of scrimmage, so he blocked a strong safety. John Riggins knows on 70 chip there's going to be one free man. It's going to be the corner. But we tell John, with a running start, and if we capture the line of scrimmage, then John Riggins should be any cornerback in the NFL. Seventy Chip was a perfectly executed play, and the image of John Riggins busting through the arms of Don McNeil will last for all time in the memory of the Redskin faithful. John Riggins' heroic effort put Washington ahead 20 to 17. Miami, on the other hand, could find no heroes in the continuing nightmare of a second half. to run or pass. The Dolphins' offense gained a total of only 11 yards in the fourth period. And the Killer Bees, tired and battered, no longer had the strength to stop Washington's procession into history. Walsh Hogs are fired up. Yeah, that's a big hog in the backfield, too, I'll tell you. It's easy. The Hogs made the holes, and Riggins found them. Sam Riggins, the ball carrier. There are no official blocking statistics, but Riggins' statistics are a tribute to the men up front. 38 carries for 166 yards. No player ever carried the ball so often or so far in a Super Bowl. Riggins up the gut. Don Shula's losing his deodorant on that sideline now. He's perspiring a little. <laughs> Riggins, left tackle, cuts back against the grain to the 25, down to the 24-yard line. The Redskins marched 41 yards in 12 plays controlling the ball for six minutes and 54 seconds in the most time-consuming drive ever in a Super Bowl. First down, Redskins. Oh. First and goal. Here's a rollout. Rolling out to his right. He should run it in. He flips it. No question, it is a nail in the coffin. Charlie Brown's touchdown was sweet icing on a cake baked perfectly by a tough old running back and a group of determined linemen who turned the Rose Bowl into hog heaven and the Washington Redskins into world champions. Joe Gibbs, the hog of the MVP. Riggins have beaten the Miami Dolphins 27 to 17.